sweet, sweet story, sweet, sweet story, story with Saran. Mommy, why are you telling thank you to the garbage collector uncle? Shall I explain it to you through a story, dear? Yes, Mommy. Hooray! Hello, my dear sweet kids. Our story's title is Thanksgiving Day. Watch till the end for a fun fact and parent tips. Once upon a time, in a farm lived a farmer. He had a cow, moo, a horse, neigh, a hen, cluck, cluck, a pig, oink, oink, and a duck, quack, quack. As the next day was Thanksgiving Day, he has bought a turkey too. The turkey was happy to see all other animals in the farm. Next day, on the Thanksgiving day, the turkey was walking near the farmer's home. He heard the farmer's conversation with his wife. Farmer asked, Can I bring the turkey now to make him as our lunch? His wife said, Yes! The turkey was terrified. He didn't want to become their lunch. The turkey saw a fence through which he can escape out of the farm. But he would need to cross a cow's shed, a horse's stable, a chicken coop, a pig's sty, and a duck's pond. The farmer started searching the turkey. The turkey quickly entered the cow's shed to hide and said, Can I stay here for a while? Of course, moo, said the cow. When the farmer had crossed the cow's shed, the turkey said, Thank you, cow, and gave some hay to the cow to show his gratitude. The cow smiled. Next, the turkey, with some hay on his head, entered the horse's stable and asked if he can stay there for a while. Sure, nay, replied the horse. When the farmer had crossed the horse's shed, the turkey felt thankful and gave some corns to the horse. The horse smiled. Next, the turkey, with some corns on his head, picked from the horse's stable, reached the chicken coop and asked, Can I stay here for a while? Oh, yes, cluck, cluck replied the hen. When the farmer had crossed the chicken's coop, the turkey said, Thank you, and gave some grains to the hen. The hen smiled. Now the turkey has crossed half the way, and now he entered into the pig's sty with some chicken feathers picked from chicken's coop and asked if he can stay there for a while. Yep, oink oink, replied the pig. When the farmer had crossed the pig's sty, the turkey thanked the pig and gave him apples. The pig smiled. With some mud on his body, the turkey entered the duck's pond now. Can I stay here for a while? The turkey asked. Certainly, quack quack, replied the duck. When the farmer had crossed the horse's shed, the turkey thanked the duck and gave him a cucumber to show his gratitude. The duck smiled. As the farmer couldn't spot the turkey, he was returning back to his home. The clean turkey quickly came out of the water and gave a big jump. Thud! Unfortunately, the turkey couldn't jump high enough to cross the fence. Hearing the sound, the farmer quickly came and picked the turkey. The turkey got very scared and shouted for help. Gobble, gobble, gobble. All his friends who were feeling thankful with the turkey's kind act of sharing his food wanted to show their gratitude now. All of them came running to stop the farmer. Seeing all animals standing on his way, the farmer understood. The farmer asked, But if I let him go, what will we eat for lunch? The cow gave some milk to the farmer. The chicken and ducks gave few eggs. 
the horse gave some corns the pig gave some apples seeing this the farmer's heart melted even he wanted to show his gratitude to all his animals he let the turkey free smiled and said all right we will not eat turkey for thanksgiving from now on all animals happily celebrated thanksgiving by thanking each other and sharing their food to each other so kids when someone does something good to you we need to recognize it by saying thank you from our heart remember their good act and reciprocate the goodness back to them shall we be thankful to everything in our life starting from thanking this earth the sun the water the air the trees the animals and everybody around us t h a t n k y o u thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you sun thank you moon thank you stars thank you sky i love you all without you can i be thank you water thank you rainbow thank you everyone i love you shall we say it i thank everyone shall we say it together this time i thank everyone and thank you all for watching my stories fun fact time let us know why thanksgiving is celebrated the story is that the native americans taught the anglo-saxon people how to plant harvest and cook food in the new land as they began to settle there thanksgiving was created to thank them and god for those blessings it is celebrated on the fourth thursday of november parent tips let us teach gratitude to our kids with the following tips kids can be encouraged to write two to three things they are thankful for in that day before going to bed during dinner time everyone in the family can share one good thing that happened in that day it helps the family feel connected make it practice for kids to say thank you every time someone shows kindness giving back is a critical aspect of gratitude because it shifts our perspective from ourselves into a bigger picture happy parenting do you do want to say a thank you to our garbage collector uncle tomorrow dear yes mommy i want to show the thank you by giving a sweet chocolate tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> If you like the story click on the like button to enjoy more interesting stories and get instant notifications click on the subscribe button and the bell icon do share it with your friends too